Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, January 22nd, 2022. And this is week um, 164. 164. I had to cheat. Look at the computer. <laughs> well, this week seemed to go by really quick for me. I don't know yeah, about you. Very just quick. I blinked yeah. and it was Thursday. You know? <laughs> yeah, so the week just zoomed by. Um, I ended up last week at 337 and I was down two last week. And then this week, I did a week of OMAD. Uh, I mean, a week, I wish. No, I did a day of, <laughs> a day of OMAD it, it intended to be a fast. And again, mentally, I'm still trying to build up to that because I'd say by about 5.30, I was going crazy. So I did eat dinner. But um, yeah, done pretty good. I've been using my card manager. I've been checking my sugars. They're still not great, but they are down from not being sick anymore. Right. They've come down about 60, 70 points. Um, I'm averaging about 140s. I'd like to see that be more like 120s. Yeah. You know, but I'm working on that. But we'll um, take it. My little ketosis meter thing, I got to send it in and get it fixed because it doesn't work now. So <laughs> I can't tell if I'm in ketosis. I don't have that stuff to be able to do that at the moment. Yeah. But uh, with the sugars coming down, I'm, I'm hoping and eating decent using yeah. Card Manager, watching my numbers. I've been pretty good on that. Um, that things are going well. So this week I was 336. So I was down one. Yay. I'd like to have been down a little more. Maybe if I can get two OMAD days in. Yeah. My windows have not been the greatest either. I'll be honest. I, I, I've got to get that tightened up to like a 16.8 or something. Yeah. It didn't help that you're up I'm so dang late. Yeah. I'm up early and I'm to bed late. Yeah. So I'm, I've got bad habits. I, I got to work on that. Sleep. You take it. It come by on us. His mom was the same way. <laughs> Sleep and portion control are my biggest obstacles. It's not so much what's in the kitchen. Right. It's how much I eat of it. And then not sleeping and being up at 530 in the morning and going to bed at sometimes as late as two or three in the morning mm -hmm. and getting just a few hours of sleep. I'm starving at 10 o'clock at night and I know better, you know. Yeah. It's just hard. But I'm working on it. I mean. You'll get there. Yeah. You got to. So where you at, babe? <laughs> What's up? Uh, last week and the week before and the week before. No. <laughs> last week I weighed in at 157. This morning I was 157.2. I, I just... Uh, and I've been watching. Stacy's doing really good on her um, little lunch bag that she takes to Costco. She's sectioning out like her two ounces of like sunflower meats or what? Mm -hmm. Is that what they call it? A meat? Yep. I, I want to call it a seed, but it's a meat. It's a meat, <laughs> and a uh, little little bag of almonds here and there because that gives you your fats and it, and it's good yeah. for you. And, and she does section them out in little ziplocs at at a two ounce thing, and she doesn't even really eat them all because she'll come home with that half bag. Yeah, you know? and it's I mean I just, I just have enough. I think I'm have been successful this week on. Uh, I didn't work until 8.30 at night, so um, I've told Bill for him and Julia to go ahead and eat dinner without me. Oh, you um, mean that you do work till 8.30? You I, said, yeah. I don't work till 8.30. I'm like, hey, yeah, you do. I work until 8.30, um, but I've told them to go ahead and eat sure. dinner on their own. And I'm trying to get, get Julia fed by like 6.30, 7 at the right. latest. So that way I'm not eating when I come home. Because, tempting me to eat with you at right. 9.30 at night you know, by the but, time you get home. Exactly. Yeah. So... Um, but I've been doing a protein shake um, this week, and then I've had veggies for my snacks and almonds. Yeah, I, and I've I don't eat a ton bag. of meat. I just hmm. I'm beyond frustrated because it's like, okay, <laughs> I'm not. You would think that I'm eating four meals a day and snacking all night, and I, I'm not. Yeah, and, and you cut out diet pop, and you yep. really reduced on like the the keto crutchy kind of foods like the bread or like yeah. the shells you haven't really even bought those no no yeah, we haven't well the stores don't have them half the time <laughs> but uh haven't even bought them even yeah. costco doesn't carry the carb shell well they do carry it but it's never in we haven't yeah we haven't we had them to, in a while we used to almost always have a package of those in the freezer heck we haven't it's been probably a month yeah since we even got them which is fine now one thing i could say for you that it wouldn't be criticism but it'd just be suggestion is uh more water I truly have been trying to drink more water too. I drink a full water, and it doesn't sound like a lot to a lot of people, no, but for not. me, it, it kind of is. Um, I try to drink a full 16 ounce water on my each of my breaks and on my lunch. 
So getting three in at work, but unfortunately my bladder is so weak that <laughs> I drink my water and 15 minutes later, I'm like, oh my gosh, run into the bathroom and 15 minutes later, I'm running to the bathroom. So it's a little harder to do when you're at work. It's at work much different than me being at home and if right. I drink a 32 ounce, because I have a big 32 ounce cup and I fill that thing probably over a five lot. times a day, yeah. over. But I, I want to flush stuff through me. I want things to move through me. So. Yeah. And, and pretty much, other than a cup of coffee in the morning, you know, sometimes a decaf at night if I really just want a little coffee. Yeah. But, um, yeah, mostly for me it's just water. And that's pretty much what we've been drinking. I haven't had any um, of Julia's... Uh, she's got that... I uh, say red juice because she's always like called it red Kool-Aid, juice. It's yeah. like a Kool-Aid. But, but no sugar in it. Just it's a, Right. But it is like an aspartame or something, and I don't want her having a ton of that, and I don't want that. Right. You know, so... I haven't even had any of that this week, so I'm truly, you know... We have some of those little, I think they're six or eight ounce, almost like a juice glass. Just every once in a while, a little, like that's a nice little treat to just have a little bit of that. But I don't want to fill up like a 32 ounce. See, and for me, the treat is to put ice in my water (laughs) because I drink room temperature water all day at work. Yeah. So, but it's it's, it's super frustrating, you know, I, I just... Well, you know... Because it's for me, it's not about portion control. It's not about oh, how totally, much I eat. Totally for me. Yeah. Yeah. And so, I gotta weigh stuff. If I don't weigh stuff, I'm I'm off the rails. You know. Yeah. I mean, like if we make a taco, I'm not saying that he's a piggy about it. No, but I put more the amount meat of meat it. that he has on one taco, I it's probably don't even two have two or th- you know, definitely way more than I would eat on two tacos. So I just I've just, I've just never been a big. And the meat way eater. I look at that is is if I was gonna have a carb shell which I don't like playing that net carb thing. Right. I'd rather have one good taco than two or three having all those extra shells. Right. So I'd rather, you know, I'd almost even just rather put meat and cheese on a plate and eat that. Right. If I wanted more, you know what I mean? Exactly. So, but yeah. I, I have to like trick my brain and say, <laughs> okay, you've eaten, wait 20 minutes yeah. and then we'll talk again or go have like one of those carb master yogurts or some, oh, Stacy got, um, Red pepper and orange peppers, which were mm. fantastic. Chopped them up really fine, put a couple in an in a, in a omelet mix. Yeah. Oh, so good. So good. Night you did with, them. I have them cold. I don't like them cooked. So I slice them up for me and take them with ranch dressing. Because that's, I'm trying to get the fats in with the ranch dressing. And okay. I just, I, I don't know. I'm frustrated. Well, I wish you would, um, you know, you talked about using your card manager. And I think if you did and you put everything in, we could analyze the carb master uh you know the carb yeah. counter thing manager and uh and just see where you, are you really falling short on protein are you really because fa- maybe we can up that with like your protein drink that yeah you like. i would a, guess that probably i'm falling short on all of it well yeah but you also don't want to deprive your body to where it says hey she's not eating hold on to every pound i can hold on to right you need and, to uh, and probably and here's the force funny thing yourself is for like three I'm, days to eat full right. meals instead of just sipping on a half a protein drink and, and nibbling on an ounce of peanuts and calling that lunch, you know? Right. I'm just not hungry. I mean... I know you're not hungry, but, yeah. you know, put it's some frustrating. things together. It's so, frustrating. Well, One thing I want to do... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to No, it's okay. You, I just am is, frustrated. Um, <laughs> I want to take... <clears throat> Julia wanted a cake the other day. So what we ended up doing was making cupcakes out of the cake mix. It yeah. was red velvet or something. So when I saw those tins, I was going back to the whole thing when we were trying to talk about recipes, mm-hmm. about mixing up some eggs, uh, maybe a little bit of milk or something in there. I don't know exactly. Just to whip it up a little mm-hmm. uh, and then pouring them into those little tins. Yeah. Maybe dropping some bacon bits or something. I'm surprised something I haven't done it. a recipe with that. Yeah. Because we've made them plenty of times before. I used to make yeah. them all the time for you. And then, you know, make up a, a half dozen or a dozen. Because I'll eat two or three of those on a plate for breakfast. I have a hair. I'm sorry. That's yeah. like tickling Just me. Bugging me, huh? <laughs> it's no, so, so making those little tins of like, uh, you know, it's approximately an egg per yeah. Or thing, you know. So if I was going to eat two or three eggs, just eat two or three of those and have a little bacon and Some maybe a little cheese. Them. A little yeah. bacon. It just sounds Some peppers. Good. It's it's really not much different than putting it in the pan and mixing things up and making scrambled eggs. But in a weird way, it kind of is. It, it gives it's... you something different. Plus, you know, that's a pretty pretty good size, you know, for a cupcake. Um, 
But then you can pre-make them. Yeah. That's I don't nice because sometimes... How long, I don't know how long that would keep in the fridge. Maybe two days or so. Well, they wouldn't be there very long. Yeah. <laughs> well, you figure you'll have two, at least two at a time. And I don't think I would eat them. I'm good for doing that for a lunch or a dinner even. Just right. as a, hey, I don't have to cook anything. Just put two on a plate. <laughs> zap right. it for... 25 seconds or something just to Julia warm it up. may even like that um we've finally gotten her to eat eggs yes getting her going in the morning i've been worried about her because she yeah. gets up so early she gets up 5 45 ish yep give her, get her up every morning and then she goes you know till three or four in the afternoon so um yeah i just want her eating a good breakfast and eggs have been hitting the spot for her mm-hmm. so that's cool yeah yeah so we've been doing that for her but uh yeah, I don't know. I just I, I try not to be frustrated. Don't be frustrated. I, I can't help it, though. <laughs> I think, you know, what would be a good experiment for you is to lay out and plan out, or even like in the morning with the egg thing. That would be a different start to your day. Do like, seriously, three dedicated days of real meals. Like, here's your full meal, here's your lunch, and here's your... And eat it. Don't just take it to work and then not eat it. Um <laughs> One thing that she mixed up the other day was just a little onion, a little mayo, and a little tuna, and that mm-hmm. was just wonderful. I wasn't even using a shell or anything. I was just eating it with yeah, a Yeah, I just eat it out of the bowl. Yeah, so that was really good, yeah. just as something different in the afternoon. Yeah. And and do like three days of real food. I, I can't of even proper, see... He's saying real food, but the proper amount of food well, to hit Well, a real meal, and, I should say. Yeah. Because you, you tend to, and card manager it so you could see, oh, okay, let me compare to what I ate. Because you could think back two days ago mm-hmm. and put in there what you ate. And let's look at that little circle graph. Yeah. Where mine always ends up falling over is on the total calories. Because I'm at about 26, which is great for a lot of people. But I'm a big guy. I'm 6'6". Yeah. Six, six, I'm a big guy. I need a little more fuel to make the truck move, you know. <laughs> but uh, but um, I'm I'm tend to tend to kind of go over on that because it's portions, and I know yeah. this because I I weigh stuff, okay. you know. And then uh, the other thing I go over on is not my fats, but my proteins, because I tend to eat more meats, um, like you yeah. know. So I I need to trim back that nine ounces of turkey or whatever I eat, or chicken it's usually chicken right um I need to bring that back to like six or seven and just tweak yeah tweaky tweaky <laughs> do you remember tweaky Battlestar Galactica oh no, no. yeah there's the geeky in me <laughs> no we were, what were we talking about yesterday it was tv commercial related or tv show related or something and you had no clue not, it wasn't the Waltons, but that one that one shocked me. You never heard of or seen the Waltons or who John Boy was. Um, I grew up on the Waltons, so and, and we're not that far apart. That's no. the thing. It's just that you didn't watch like that evening TV like I, that. I was an outside kid. I would cry when my mom would say we had to come in. Um, we were outside. We had a whole band of probably 15 to 20 of us kids that hung out always you know with my sister with one of my sisters and uh you know we had a lot of the same group of friends where their siblings were the same kind of age ranges and we yeah, were outside so all the playing. time at the pool until it closed at 9 p.m and you know or until the street lights kicked on yeah to come home and then the street when the street lights kicked on we would whine and cry to, can we please just stay on the hill you could see minutes. us <laughs> it, right no so yeah that whistle i can't whistle but that whistle was always like we got to go home. You know, wee, wee. Yep. <laughs> so, but I was, I was just not a kid. Now, back then I would get up early in the morning because I always wanted to watch like the Flintstones. Uh, we would do that before school, but I just wasn't a big TV kid. Yeah. I was outside. I love to be outside. We try and catch an episode of something and we're catching up on things. I, I noticed Ozark has just come out with their season four, so we'll start watching that. Yes. We had just started uh, a series called Ray Donovan, which is oh, yeah. an older series. I think there's seven or eight or nine uh, seasons and stuff. But we started with episode one, mm-hmm. now episode two of season one. And uh, so far, it's not bad. Yeah, I think we just watched season uh, episode two. Yes. The first one, it first was a little second. going, hmm, there was a lot to absorb and to try to connect. Characters. Um And then season two, then unfortunately, I think we're going to, it's when we get a little bit of time off that. We'll binge watch We'll a binge watch because that's how we roll. <laughs> yeah. Or just one more and then go to bed. But 
I'm can't really do that, that with Stace because she falls asleep on me. She's tired. Yeah. You have long days. Well, so do I when I don't sleep at all. But <laughs> yeah, you know, if I can get more sleep, control more windows, and do a little better on my portions, which is, I know I'm bad, um, I think I might see some more success. But I've been, the last two weeks have been going downward. So I'll take yeah. that. And let's try for another one next week. Yeah. I mean, I guess I'm happy that I'm not going up, but I would have liked to stall at, you know, it's 135, which yeah, is where I was at for almost two years. Let's try an experiment of getting you a couple days of full meals. And we are supposed pick to them. be. Yeah, I think if I'm not I... going to make you eat what I eat. <laughs> no, because I wouldn't do that. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> real, true, traditional, full lunch. That's same with the dinner. Be within the parameters of what I'm supposed to eat in carb manager. Oh, well, yeah, of uh, fats and proteins right. and stuff. Because I wouldn't say your lunch bag looks bad or nothing, but I don't yeah. see a main meal in there. I see the snacky stuff, like a, a mozzarella stick and like the little thing of the sunflower meats and like one of your protein drink things. And yeah. that to me, that's not like, hey, it's dinner time. Because at work, you're eating a lunch and a dinner. And when right. I look in your bag, it's like there's really not much in here. I'd be starving. Um, yeah. I usually drink the replacement uh, meal before I go to work. So I don't go to work until noon. Um, I've never been an early morning eater. Um, go to work at noon, so I'll drink my protein uh, shake there. And then by lunch, which is usually 4 o'clock-ish, somewhere around there, uh, is when I have my dinner, I guess, if you will, and then a snack two hours later than that, so at maybe about 6.30. Maybe if you made a, a, a wrap of the tuna, you know, like the two you mixed up the other mm -hmm. day, cut it in half, eat one at four o'clock, and then eat the other one at like seven o'clock, which would technically be your dinner. Right. But that's more than what I've seen you ever physically take for food. And if yeah. you just, I hate to say it, but force yourself to eat half of that at lunch, half yeah. of that at dinner, and you put that in the card manager, you might see a very big difference versus like if you were to take two days ago just as a sampling because it's pretty right. easy for you to tell what you've eaten. Right. And uh, put it in Carb Manager and, and look at the numbers and say, oh, wow, geez, yeah. And then do a couple days, like three days of forcing yourself to eat, you know, <laughs> yeah. a meal. Maybe I'll maybe make some egg even, salad. I was going to say, maybe even make stuff that you like and that way you're more encouraged to, to do it. Yeah. I want to do some fat heads. I don't know what we need, though. I, I don't just, know what... I think the fresh ingredients. Oh, which is what? I don't oh, know. Oh, like whatever your sausage, um, Julia would like peppers. So oh, just some... make cheese. I don't care. Just make cheese pizzas. Yeah, I have pepperoni. Yeah. If I wasn't so bad at making stuff like that, I would. You I'm know, good with the meatballs. I love the meatballs. Yeah, I've changed the meatballs. Now, I have to say, when he makes the meatballs, she kills that, could, that goes with me almost every day for lunch. Yeah, when they're in the freezer and I go mm -hmm. in there, I'm like, holy cow, Like, where did all the meatballs go? Yeah, Stacy's been eating. So, so eat some meatballs. There's still meatballs in the freezer. Oh. Yeah. Right. I think there's at least a dozen in there. So you take three or four meatballs and eat that for lunch. Yeah. That's I could good. do that with some real sauce. Yeah. But uh, yeah, maybe we'll monkey with uh, just, I don't know that it would be a quote unquote recipe, but just mixing up some eggs and putting some cheese and some bacon bits or yeah. things in it like that. A simple meal. And just put them in those tins. Now, one thing I'm having trouble with, and I'm going to admit it right now, I've got a new oven, which is great. Oh. <laughs> Our burners work, which is great. However, I'm not quite learned. I haven't quite learned exactly. There's different baking modes. There's air fry, there's convection baking, there's convection roasting, and then there's just baking. Well, I've been trying to do baking like a normal oven, mm -hmm. and our other oven was so off <laughs> that we were constantly like playing with temperatures and we kind of just got used to it. Right. We knew if it said 375, put it on 400, that right. kind of thing. Uh, this one, I, I haven't quite adjusted to. I burned <laughs> almost everything I've tried to make. So I keep downing things or I keep doing convection and then shortening the time and trying to like follow directions even, like looking online. <laughs> and I have not found a way to make a pound of bacon without screwing it up. And I think I've done like three of them. And I've just burned. A <laughs> yeah, I burned them up bad. Stacy likes crispy bacon, so some of it was salvageable. But 
Nah. I think there was, was one gross. of them that it was. It was so bad that you couldn't even like. And I had like a crispier bacon. No, it was burnt. To me, so. his is like a barely cooked bacon. It's probably how 98% of the world likes their bacon. So, you know, I mix those things up for the little egg tins. I might only make like three or six as a starting to see if I can, I don't know how to cook them in terms of our oven. I, yeah. I just have to get used we'll to that. With it. Yeah, like 354, check it at eight minutes or something. I don't know. Yeah. I Start don't think poking it with a fork long. and look at it. <laughs> yeah, I think they're going to cook quick. Yeah. But but that may be kind of fun. Maybe we could sit down and yeah, just you know mix up and make a variety of like three of this and six of this and three of these and. I would want cheese in mine. Yeah, me too. Cheese, I love cheese. I don't know what kind of cheese. Maybe a Colby mix or something. Cheddar. What would be good? Not cheddar. For me, I would cheddar say cheddar. Mix. Cheddar mix. Now and maybe even be kind of fun. Maybe do like a Mexican cheese, like a because I always like those breakfast burrito kind of things. Oh yeah, you do. Yeah. You can put a little dab of mild sauce in there or something. I love how uh, Taco Bell sells the mild <laughs> sauce in the store. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, just a dab of that on there. Just a dab will do you. Yeah. I don't know what that's from. I don't know. Just a dab will do you. Probably butter or something, it sounds like. Just a dab. A dab of some kind of sauce Dollop or butter. Dollop is the... Sour cream. Sour cream. Generally. I think anyway. just a dab will do you, I want to say, is hair gel. but Oh, that might be true. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We're dorks. We're dorks. But, hey, uh, so you may just see us mess around with that on a Tuesday night or something, just yeah. for fun. And maybe I'll try it, and then if it works out good, maybe do it again. Put some in the, I don't want to say freeze, but put them in the fridge and yeah. just pull Warm from them up and Maybe that would be a good idea for one of your meal things. Just take that, and you got a little toaster oven or a microwave, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, zap it for 20 seconds, and just enough to take the chill off of it and enjoy an egg. See, the thing is, I'm weird about eggs. I like my eggs <clears throat> cooked well. A little bit brown on them. Okay. Well, then <laughs> cook them for that. an extra five minutes, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, Stacy likes everything burnt. I don't like it burnt. If you look I at just... the comments on all of our recipes, they all say, that looks burnt. That's mm-hmm. No, that's just Stacy. Same with meatballs. They have to cook them an extra like six to eight minutes on her batch. Yeah. And they can't be too big because then the insides aren't as dark and crusty and crunchy as the outsides are. I don't like the whole thing. So make regular meatballs for me and then there's some that have an S on the container because they're smaller and they've been cooked like almost 10 minutes longer. And they're burnt, but that's the way she likes them. That's the way she likes them. They just have a crisp to the edge and that's how I like it. Yeah. All right, guys. (laughs) Thanks for amusing me. (laughs) Have a good week. And... uh, Hope everybody stays happy, healthy, and safe, and that um, if you're doing your keto, that you stick with it and things are going well for you. Absolutely. Trust the process. I'm trying to do that. I know this perimenopause thing and my body trying to regulate and uh, deep breaths will get there. Don't get frustrated. Drink more water. Eat some food. Track it for a couple of days. Okay. You may just find it. By eating more food, just like me and eating less food, <laughs> you know, you just got to find what works for you. Yeah. That's all. Probably true. Yeah. Give it a try. All right. See you all later. All you can do is try. Keep right? trying. Keep trying. <laughs> if you ain't dead, it's not too late. <laughs> right? <laughs> just keep working at it. Oh, I love you. All right, guys. <laughs> Have a great one. We're going to get Stace off to work, and then I got to go do a bunch of other drugs, too. Okay. See you later. All right. Bye. Bye.